Winston Edmondson here with Studio B at IBM Edge 2013. I've got another award winner. Uh, you know, it's, I, I find great pleasure in uh, interviewing the folks that are getting special recognition from IBM. So I have Mike Duhame from Direct Data Systems who was recognized. Tell us a little bit about uh, this award. Well, it's Direct Systems Support. I'm sorry. It's all right. So uh, we, we won a uh, Winning Edge Award for the X-Series brand this year, and, and uh, the, the award is based on growth, innovation, uh, commitment to the industry, and so uh, we were rec recognized in the Western United States as the Winning Edge Award winner this Very year. Very impressive. And how long have you had uh, a partnership with IBM? Well, uh, our organization goes back to uh, 1992 is when we first became an IBM uh, business partner, so over over 20 years. Wow. Um, and we um, we committed to the X-Series brand. I'm not sure what year it was, but when it was introduced, we, we jumped in. You knew it was a winner. <laughs> well, you know, that that's that's interesting because, you know, when, when people talk to us about our, our X-Series brand practice, they, they're, they, they're kind of like, well, how did you decide to get into it? And how do you make money into it, in it? And, and what kind of solutions do you chase? And really, we're an IBM business partner, and we're committed to our relationship with IBM. And so when they introduced the brand, we jumped in. I love that. And it's, it's really that simple. <laughs> <laughs> it's not rocket science. It's just you knew, yeah. you know, yeah. they've got a track record. And now because of your partnership, you have a track record of success. Right. Is that part of the secret of your success, this uh, close to two decades of uh, uh, partnering with IBM, where customers know that you have this long, long-term relationship, you, you know what's in the best interest as far as these solutions go? Well. Not only customers know, but IBM knows. I mean, that's that's maybe uh, more important. We're <laughs> we're we're trusted by both. We're trusted by both the customer and IBM. Now, we're we're we are a an IBM only partner, so we're True Blue. We do the whole product set, X being one of the brands that we handle. But um, so so when we're in front of a customer, sometimes that comes in into question uh, as a True Blue reseller. How do we know we're getting a view of the world. Right. And we like to think that even though we're true blue, we bring some thought leadership to right. this discussion as well and we're not just pushing the IBM <laughs> brand even though that's all we sell. If it doesn't fit, we don't sell it. Okay. So that's a good question. I mean I, I like that that um, that point. Sometimes I would imagine that could be a, an asset that you are 100% uh, IBM, but as you said, some customers feel that that uh, you're you're blinded to other solutions. Right. Um, is it 50-50? I mean, how often do you do you find that that helps uh, um, close the deal because they know that you are 100% IBM? And how often does it require additional conversations so so they are uh, comfortable in the fact that although you are 100% IBM, you are offering, like you said, thought leadership. Well, there's a couple, there's a couple of ingredients to that because we recognize that we, we we can't bring ourselves forward as being narrow-minded and only you know. Uh, thinking about the IBM solution set. So we do make an effort to, to broaden our view of the marketplace to bring some thought leadership to the solution set. And you know we've got the IBM partnership, the commitment to, to IBM. So it's really a seamless thing when we're in there with the customer. But kind of, and it's not a secret ingredient, but our technical staff is second to none in the marketplace. So they come from a broad range of uh, backgrounds, a uh, number of them, of course, non-IBM, uh, a depth of education. We have a number of computer science degrees uh, on our staff. And so when uh, our technical staff is engaging, they're, they're talking about technology solutions, not brand. Right. Right. Uh, I would imagine uh, you, you get those individuals in there speaking the same language, and it's just, uh, uh, like you said, a, a seamless uh, process. I, I, I can't, you know, when we talk about winning an, an award and, uh, you know, direct system support, getting the recognition, it, 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 it doesn't tell the, the story to, to not bring forward the uh, importance our technical staff brings to that. And, and you know, again, people like to, like to um, ask us, you know, how, how did you do it? What are the plays you ran? What are the solutions you're bringing to the customer set? And it's it, it's it, it's our it's our technical staff that plays an absolute critical role. They are able to go in to a, a customer, sit down, assess a problem, bring forward solutions, 
look the customer in the eye and say, we understand the requirements, we understand the problem, and this is going to work. And, and, and really, so, you know, guys with the suits on like you and me, we're good at talking to customers, but the, the guys who go in and actually do the work, they're making the sales. And they have the real credibility out that's there. That's right, that's right. So you guys are out there, uh, clearly uh, you, you're recognized, so you're at the front line, you're in the trenches, Tell us a little bit about what you're seeing. Uh, what are some trends or what are some of the more common um, issues that, that customers are facing coming to you for help for? Well, you know, I, I don't want to just parrot the IBM you know, theme from the, from the edge, <laughs> edge Conference, but, but truly we're, we're, we're seeing problems with, uh, you know, okay, big data, but uh, maybe more aptly termed, Lots of data. Uh, <laughs> data <laughs> lot, overflow. Lot, lot, yeah. yeah, data overflow. Uh, increasing uh, expenses, both OpEx and, and, uh, and, and CapEx. Uh, we're, we, we see performance problems, you know, just, just like you would expect. The, they made an acquisition. The database has grown. It's not performing anymore. It's gotten out of tune over time. Uh, and, you know, how do we, how do we resolve that? And, and, you know, kind of as a, as a solution seller, what we, what we want to uh, instill in our staff is that if you can't find a problem, you're not gonna make, you're not gonna make the sale. So reduce, uh, reduce expense, uh, make it easier uh, to live with so that uh, we don't have to hire as many people, uh, make, the, make the environment run smoother so that we don't have to spend our nights and weekends here anymore. So, so what are the what are the what are the problems you know we're we're solving? I mean, one one of the the, the, the key sales in, in, in this uh, award we won is it was is a uh, very large compute complex that uh, over time and transition in the customers staff had uh, gotten out of phase in in terms of uh, all the code updates in terms of. Uh, compatibility of all the nodes that are in the compute node. They couldn't take it down. They didn't have their own employees who really understood the whole environment. They were hijacked by their own system. Uh, exactly. <laughs> and, 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 and we we engaged with them and I, I think we had our technical staff on site for 18 months <laughs> just before we solved the, before we yeah. solved the problem. Just digging through the weeds trying exactly. to exactly <laughs> and 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 so at the end of the day, when they when it came time for a refresh, the sale was the result of doing the work and and kind of a foregone conclusion. Yeah. I mean, there's no magic in what the salesman can say. The magic is in what our technical staff has brought to bear as a solution. I like that. That's great. Yeah. There's some uh, uh, customers that are hesitant to, uh, to to get help because. And I don't know if there are, are solution providers that are causing this perception, but they feel like if they bring someone in to, to take a look, it's kind of a hard sale and, and it's uh, you know ramming solutions down their throat. For, for folks that have uh, not gone through this, kind of just walk through the process of some uh, an initial consultation. I mean, just tell us a little bit about what it's like for uh, a first time uh, customer that is just starting to work with you. What is, what is that uh, initial? Uh, dialogue like that, that's an interesting question uh, you know what, what it, it in uh, you know we're a California company so the, it was a West Coast uh, Western United States award we're a San Diego company and, and I think in California especially when it when a, a technical team comes in from the outside and says we're here to solve your problems <laughs> <laughs> or help you solve your problems. That's, They're like, wait a minute. Yeah, it's almost as scary as the government coming in to say we're here to help. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're, exactly. And, and so there is some reticence to really bring forward the, the, the meaningful data to, to help us um, uh, solve a performance problem because you know, along with solving a, a performance problem, we might find that their utilization is terrible, right? Their storage is at 25 or 35 percent. Their CPU utilization is at 10 or 15 percent, and you know that points to some problems in the environment. And um, they're not willing always to bring that forward right away. Mm. I mean, so we really have to establish trust to get them to bring that forward. Yeah. That's, where, that's where when I talk about our technical staff having been on site for weeks and months and helped them solve the problem, um, they rolled up their sleeves, jumped in, got their knuckles dirty, <laughs> helping, 
and earned the right to ask for the real real data. And, <laughs> and, and you can't fix it unless you have the real data, right? right, right. And, and it's not easy for the customer to go get that data. It's not like they're hiding it. Yeah. Um, but they've actually got to get on their systems and do some work to get it. And you'd be surprised how many don't really know how to get it. Yeah. Right? So no. being able to. <laughs> they're shocked <laughs> at what they find. Right. So being able to uh, bring them a, a, uh, uh, an instruction set or to get on their uh, uh, system for them or to give them a, a, strip, a script that they trust that'll pull the data forward is a big part of, a big part of that. But you hit it on the head. It's not easy. They don't always just want to cough it up. Yeah, so you come in and, and you're willing to kind of uh, fly blind for for a time being to yes. uh, establish the, that trust. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. I like that. That's that works. What we do. <laughs> so for folks that are now uh, ready to, to take that plunge, what's the best way to get in touch with you or learn more about uh, some of your solutions? Well, like I said, we're, we're a San Diego company, but we cover the whole state of California. We're at directsystemsupport.com. If anybody you know wants to engage us, feel free to you know, look us up on the on the web and uh, make a make a connection. Uh, and we like getting face to face. Uh, like I said, we cover the state. Put a lot of bottles on our cars in yeah, California. Yeah. Or, you know, we're used to that. I've worn out two or three vehicles in my in my tenure, and, and uh, we're happy to get in front of a customer and have a discussion about what are the, what the problems are and how we can help. It's not painful, yeah, Mike. Not painful. <laughs> Appreciate the time. All right, man. Thank you.